So we get this question all the time. Why do men shut down? Like, like what's wrong with y'all? Why, why y'all always gotta shut down about everything? Talk, why you always shut down? The reason we shut down is because y'all talk to us crazy. I feel disrespected. I don't feel, like, put some respect on my name. I feel disrespected. That's why we shut down. I'm just playing. Hopefully you didn't stop the video or unfollow or unsubscribe. Even if you did, like, I'm, I'm so free from people pleasing. I promise I'm free from that. Why do men shut down? I believe there are layers to this particular question. The first layer is men are obsessed with fixing things. We're obsessed with fixing things. When a man truly loves a woman, When a man truly loves a woman, he wants to provide her with happiness. He wants to do things to bring her joy. When he really loves you, he cares so much about you, so much so that sometimes he'll evaluate his own husbandhood or his own leadership. Have you been blooming ever since I came into your life? Men love to fix things. So when she comes and just unloads on him, what she's frustrated about, what she didn't like, what's getting on her nerves, what does he try to do? He tries to fix it. He makes the mistake of trying to fix it. And so then he begins to say stuff like, babe, all you gotta do is, well, if you would try, I know what you need to do. All you gotta do, well, stop doing that, just do. And then she'll start saying stuff like, you're not listening to me. Why you never listen? You never listen to what I'm trying to say. See, this is what I'm talking about. You don't listen. And then he talking about, well, if you just, and she's like, you ain't listening to me. Boom, we have a full-fledged argument because she is just venting. She's not looking for you to be a repairman right now. She knows that you're a protector, but she needs for you to be her pillow right now. She's just venting. She doesn't want you to fix anything. And one reason he shuts down is because he hasn't discerned this. So he feels like he's failing in this area when all it is is he has to recognize, bruh, it's not that she's not listening to you. You're not listening to her. I promise this will help you in your relationship. Ooh, if, if I would've knew this, if I would've knew this my first year of marriage, since he hasn't understood that she just wants his ear right now, not his strength, he'll shut down because he feels like I can't help her, she don't listen to me. The real problem is, bruh, you're not listening to her. The second layer on why men shut down, embarrassment. Embarrassment, one of the most cancerous and deleterious things that have been done to us as we were growing up into a man is these statements right here. Suck it up, why are you crying? Man up, this is Sparta! What that did was it classically conditioned us to bury our feelings. And so we think that emotionalism is branded to being a feminine trait. But we have emotions, like even that. See, like, why can't I just say we have emotions? It's because they taught me that that's soft. I can't even say emotion. We've been taught to be tough, to fight. But in a relationship, a woman also needs for you to be tender. And sometimes he's too embarrassed to say, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm scared. I don't know how we're gonna do this. I have a porn addiction. Man, my uncle molested me. There's things that we're embarrassed to talk about. Now listen, let me give you a cautioning. All ladies, please listen. If he has ever opened up to you, and he's ever shared his heart to you or shared his fears, his insecurities, his doubts, his concerns, and you abused that, you laughed at him, you exposed it to other people, you tried to embarrass him, or you mocked him or told him to grow a pair, you basically gave this man permission to throw his heart in the vault, spin the wheel, and forget the combination. Please hear me. A man will give you his body, he will give you his time, he will even give you his money, but you still not have his heart. And the way for you to get his heart is for him to be able to express things to you and for him to be vulnerable. And it's a judge-free zone. You don't use it against him, but you actually listen to him. The third reason on why men shut down is we really don't know. We, we really don't know. Why you shut down? I don't know. I don't know. You ever get this a lot from a man? I don't know. I don't know. I don't have nothing to say. I don't know. I don't know. He really doesn't. He has not got in tune with himself, nor does he know himself enough to really know how to express himself. Back to that prior layer. He's been taught how to be tough, that he doesn't know how to be tender. He doesn't know how to express himself. He doesn't know really, really what, he really doesn't know what he likes. And so you're looking for a walking question mark to provide you with the period. He doesn't know. He doesn't know how to express himself. He doesn't know what this emotion is. He doesn't know what to do with it. 
He doesn't know how to handle this. And since he really does not know how to handle his emotions, since he does not know how to handle what he's feeling, and since he doesn't know how to express what he's feeling, he doesn't open up because he never was taught how to open up, nor does he know how to open up. The fourth layer on why men shut down is very obvious, right? We've been disrespected. We've been disrespected. We, we, I have to censor my mouth to say this because I don't want to lose my man card. Men can be very sensitive. Uh, it's called our ego. And uh, if we feel our ego has been crushed, we not talking. I didn't say that. Y'all can't say y'all heard me say it because y'all didn't see my mouth move. That could have been a voiceover. I did not say that. Men can be very sensitive, but it's called our ego. And one of the things I remember my wife said that I thought was so powerful, she was at a conference and she said, there's nothing wrong with the male ego. It's just that we don't know how to work it. Grandma taught us never to stroke a man's ego. That's like mama telling him, never listen to your wife. <laughs> Preach, girl. Preach. There's dynamics to the male ego, and uh, there's a statement that a lot of people say, you got to get respect to get it. First off, if you with somebody that you can't respect, you kind of already disrespected yourself from jump. If you with a joker that you know you can't respect, and you telling him you gotta get respect to get it, you kind of disrespected yourself. Why are you with somebody that you can't even respect? Isn't that disrespectful to your heart? Your heart is probably like, you disrespecting me. You disrespecting me. Now the next 90 seconds is for mature audiences only. It's only, you have to be mature to be able to digest what I'm about to tell you. It's more about respecting the position than it is the person. Whew. Now this takes maturity because then you have to discern between a bad heart versus a bad day. I respect my wife's position. She is my wife. That is her position in my life. She's my divine helper. She's my divine assistant. She's the one I'm called to love and I respect her position, which causes for me to respect her person, even if she's carrying herself in a disrespectful manner. I'm not gonna be verbally abusive to her. I'm not gonna pop off at her or clap back at her because I recognize if I'm disrespectful to my help, I actually am disrespecting me because we're one. And if I try to hurt her, all it's going to do is end up hurting me. So I respect the position. She might be moody because she had a bad day. She might be moody because of some bad news she received. And when you really love a person, you have studied them so much to recognize that this is not necessarily their character. They just had a bad moment. But then again, if you're with the fool, see, please don't leave no long comment. If he's a fool, let me say it again with my lip hang, a fool. If he's a fool, you not going to get respect from him, period. And you disrespecting yourself from just being with them. That's what it means to really respect the position. Similar to your boss. You may not like some assignments your boss gave you, but you respect the position he is and you don't talk to him like a crazy unless you don't care. You want to get fired. And it's the same thing kind of relationships. If you don't care, you'll get fired from that relationship. And then you could just live your life and say, you know, I don't care. You know, I'm a relational entrepreneur. Okay, let's see how, see, see how that works for you. Disrespect is a huge reason on why men shut down. When they talk to crazy, when they feel like they're not honored, they shut down. And I do understand, because I know the comments, ladies, you deserve to be honored too. Ladies, you don't deserve to be disrespected too. But the title of this video is why he shuts down. I don't know why every single time I begin to say stuff like, well, you know, he feels disrespected. We feel disrespected. I know. I know. We could do another video about why women shut down. But right now, we're talking about why he shuts down. And one of the reasons he shuts down is because he feels disrespected. Fourth reason on why men shut down, the backfire effect. This is when this man told you some valid information. He was vulnerable and transparent with you, and y'all having a disagreement, and you trying to hurt old buddy. So you dig in your barrel, and you load everything that he told you, and you use it as ammunition. This man told you he was kind of afraid of something, of this new position, and then in the middle of an argument, you're going to bust out and say, That's why you scary. That's why you scary. What type of man are you? You scared. Talking about I'm scared to do this. Once again, you have given him a permission slip to put his heart in a vault, Spin that wheel and forget the combination. Please, don't use vulnerable information as ammunition. Most men don't really tell you intricate intel about what's going on in their heart unless they trust you. So this man trusts you with this information and you gonna use it as ammunition. Maybe that's why he shuts down. Just some things for you to consider. This is Redefine TV. We're redefining relationships righteously.